Hi, this is Joseph Kishore. I'm the presidential candidate of the Socialist Equality Party. I'm here at San Ysidro High in San Diego, California, where hundreds and hundreds of high school students are walking out in opposition to budget cuts, which will have a devastating impact on public education. Today we will be walking out in unison with other schools across our school district to protest the unequitable cuts made by the board members at our school district. They have currently are in the process of laying off more than 227 teachers and counselors, as well as cut learning centers across the entire district and are cutting off the existence of libraries. Our education is essentially at risk here. At the beginning of the year, they caught 20 out of 22 buses, which is, was a lot. Uh, many of the uh, classes that help people and go to college, like um, AP, AP Spanish Lit, have been cut, you know. And now they're trying to cut the learning centers, which a lot, like I would say, a great part of San Isidro High School depends on the learning centers. The budget deficit here in San Diego, Sweetwater High, is a fraction of what is spent every day on the military, uh, a fraction of the, corp the wealth monopolized by the corporate and financial elite, just one-tenth of what Elon Musk earned every single day this year. What is involved is a question of the distribution of resources. This is what Sweetwater Union High School District is trying to do. They're trying to stop us students from being educated. They're stopping the buses, which bring students over. I think that capitalism hasn't built on like a main person build, building wealth. And they accumulate that wealth through the abuse of working class citizens. There was stuff like the Pullman strike. It's just like right now. But the difference is, is that back then, there, there wasn't like any outlet. There was, there was media, there was media, there was newspaper. But there wasn't radio, there wasn't as fast communication as there is right now. And back then it was, it was a lot easier to oppress the working class because they had no voice. Because the only voice they had were the newspapers and that was controlled by the large, by the large political machines. So I think now with the internet it allows us as people to be united, it allows us to get educated. And I think that that's going to stop, that's going to stop all this massive wealth disparity that's in the U.S. That's the main problem in the U.S., the wealth disparity and the way to close that is through education. And the Sweetwater Union High School District is continuing to deny us our education. Absolutely. This is a struggle which is pitting yeah, teachers that, right? and students against the unions which have done nothing to oppose the cuts. Uh, the teachers' unions have isolated every single struggle of teachers over the past two years. And it's a fight against the Democratic Party, which controls the state of California and has overseen no less than the Republican Party uh, decades of austerity, which have devastated public education while wealth has been transferred to the corporate uh, and financial elite. We are here supporting the struggle of teachers and of students for the right to public education, a right which must be guaranteed through a mobilization of the entire working class uh, in opposition to inequality and the capitalist system.